So I wish there was a such thing as smell-o-vision so you could actually smell how delicious this food is. Groundstone Restaurant staff members have been here all morning cooking over 200 meals for foster families. Employees at Groundstone Restaurant are supposed hey, uh, to be off today. Me, uh, three plates uh, in the window, please. Instead, many of them volunteered to cook and serve meals for more than 26 foster families during the restaurant's inaugural Feast of Love Thanksgiving dinner. So our uh, garlic mashed potatoes, our, our skillet gravy, our turkey, our green beans, and of course, can't go wrong with cranberry, right? And this mashed potatoes looks so good. Chef Patrick Correa, along with 20 other volunteers, prepared more than 205 Thanksgiving meals. My skills only go so far. It's for um, us to do what we got to do for the community. The restaurant's owner started cooking Thanksgiving meals for people in need in his past restaurant six years ago. He says it's important for him to keep the tradition going at his newest place, Groundstone. There's a lot of kids in this state that, that you know that are either parentless or single parents or abuse situations. So somebody's got to do it. So why shouldn't it be the rest of us? Mikey Ray says her daughter became a foster parent to three little girls four years ago, and money has been tight. She actually is the only person working right now, and so. A meal like this would be a, a, a big struggle for us to put together ourselves. She says the kind gesture also gives them time to be with their children. It's very stressful when you have to do all the cooking, all the cleaning up. You really can't sit and visit at all or spend time with the kids. This year, the restaurant was able to serve 200 meals. Next year, their goal is to serve more than 400. In Albuquerque, KD Mosh, KYT, Action 7 News.